Good evening. A man is dead after police say he shot an off-duty officer, then led police on a dangerous chase through Davidson County. Officer Osmond was just discharged from Vanderbilt, and that is where we find News Channel 5's Matthew Torres. And Matthew, how is that officer doing tonight? He's doing obviously better since he was able to be released from this hospital not too long ago when he was sent here last night in stable condition. Now, we are learning through the TBI that the suspect had a criminal history in Davidson County, including forgery and domestic assault a while back. But his brother, a hermitage pastor, telling me he can't remember anything about him nor his past that would have risen to the same level we saw last night. We're still just trying to gather the facts because all we know of our brother is he's a good man, nice and kind. But what Greg Johnson's older brother is accused of doing is far from good and kind. The TBI says William Johnson was the gunman who shot off-duty Metro officer Daryl Osmond while he was walking his dog near his home Thursday night. No, we have no idea. We know he has a lot of friends everywhere, but we, we really don't know why he was there. Greg last spoke to William three weeks ago at his church about being an Uber Eats driver. He says William just returned from a trip to California this week, but didn't go home to their parents in Hermitage. That's where the TBI questioned the family today. It's nerve wracking. Very. It's, it's makes me nervous now. The officer's neighbors, Beverly Bentley and her husband, heard two gunshots on the normally quiet Pine Valley Road. That's the moment police say William shot Osmond in the back of his shoulder for no apparent reason after saying hello to each other. Which I don't understand that because he's so quiet. I mean, he might be a police officer, but he was quiet. And you can't even go outside your door to walk your dog anymore. A second bullet missed Osmond while he was on the ground. By the time he called 911, the suspect was gone, only to be spotted minutes later, sparking a police chase throughout North Nashville into 440. Officers laid spike strips on the interstate to stop his vehicle. Three of them fired shots and killed William after they say he started shooting when opening his door. Like investigators, the suspect's brother wants to know more. I don't believe he did it. I don't know. I, I just had to get all the facts. And the three officers involved in the shooting have been placed on a routine administrative assignment while the TBI continues its investigation. Reporting live in Nashville tonight, I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.